Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada 8 chat. Episode 6? Oh, <laughs> I it's know. a nominations episode. Alright, so last time uh, Michael was evicted. Bye. Will he be coming back? I don't know. Well, it is a supersized season, so whatever that means. We've already like lost one for good. Yeah. Because he freaking quit. So, anybody's guess? I don't know. Anyway, the episode last time ended with the HOH competition in progress. Slippery when wet. <laughs> this was like a tiny sized slip and slide. There were a few different elements in this competition. <clears throat> yeah. You had to find the yellow balls mm -hmm. out of all of the different colored balls because you could only use the yellow balls to get people out by putting yeah. them in their tubes. You had to put balls into other people's tubes right that's other people's tubes topaz not your own <laughs> <laughs> right get it yeah okay of course <laughs> and the first four people that are eliminated from the competition are going to be the have-nots yeah so this is a real popularity contest we have going on yeah here. once you get 10 balls in your tube you're out and the last one standing is the hoh so the first four out were maddie kyle vanessa and and um, Angie. Angie. Damn. Okay. So like Maddie, Kyle, and Vanessa. That's pretty obvious because like yeah. Kyle and Vanessa were ganging up on Maddie, and then John, Luke, and Rianne were going for Kyle and, and Vanessa. Vanessa, which makes sense. But then Min Lee basically like single handedly took out Angie. Yeah. And why? Yeah. She said it was because she didn't want to be seen putting balls in other people's tubes because then like. They would have been mad at her, but that just seems so messed up. And there up was already to like, like that. tension between her and Angie. You would so think she, figured, she would whatever. avoid putting stuff in Angie's tube because of you know. This is Min Lee, okay? She's she does things differently. Well, you know who else does things differently? Jamar. Mm -hmm. He put quite a few balls in Min Lee's tube. Oh my god! What is with these two? We're gonna get to them in a little bit, yeah. but Sheldon. Won the HOH, and it wasn't even close. I think he had, like, three balls in his two. Yeah. He's just a popular guy. Well, he's playing a great social game, and he thinks he's set up perfectly right now. This is a great week to be HOH because there's a lot of our obvious targets. Honestly, I think maybe he should have put some balls in his own tube and, like, not yeah. won this one because he was in a really good spot before, I think. And Can you put balls in your own? I'm not sure. But, Can um, we nominate ourselves? I don't know, Pax Bros. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if this was a good one for him to win because now he's going to be out in the forefront. Yeah. Making decisions. So Maddie and John Luke, they realize... Mm -hmm. I want to mention, too, this is the second week of slop in a row yeah, Maddie, uh, Vanessa, and Kyle. Oof. That sucks. Yeah. And sleeping in the swamp. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're have-nots again. That's what yeah. I meant. So Maddie and John Luke, they realize um, we're on the bottom of this house. We've got to uh, break free from this little... Um, Clique? Yeah. <laughs> and we've got to start working... Some social game here. We've got to make some new friends because the ones that we have are just going to get us kicked out of the house. Yeah, they got to make more connections because they were really hermiting last week. Yeah. So they isolated themselves. Ming Li and Angie have a conversation. This was totally not fully explained. <laughs> okay. I mean, Ming Li and Angie have had a lot of issues. Um, they're both accusing each other here of instigating things and, like, mm -hmm. getting involved in each other's situations or whatever. But there was this one situation in particular that happened the other day. I talked about it a lot in one of the spoilers. Mm -hmm. um, Min Lee did something really messed up. Okay, first of all, I don't know if I want to get into all this right now, but basically... Yeah. You've Min already opened up a can of worms. <laughs> Fine! Okay, real quick. So Carol told an inappropriate joke... Uh, I would say it was an ignorant joke about Jamar. Ignorantly racist? It wasn't, like, full-blown racist, but... It was questionable? Yeah. Okay. I don't think that Carol is a racist. Right. But, um, it definitely was, like, an off-color joke. Mm -hmm. And Angie was asking Jamar, are you going to talk to Carol about this? 
And he was like, no, I'm just gonna let it go. And she was like, oh, well, if you don't talk to her, then Carol's not gonna know that it was wrong. Mm -hmm. So Min Lee was present for that discussion. And then the next morning, Min Lee went to Carol and said, Angie keeps bringing up this joke that you made the other day about Jamar. And she said that it was racist and you're racist. Oh! So this, like, caused this whole drama. Why is Min Lee getting involved in something like that? Because she's Min Lee. So they had a big discussion about it. They talked about a lot of different issues. They don't like each other. No, they don't. <laughs> so Angie's like, why did you put all those balls in my tube? Why are you targeting me? And Minlee keeps saying, like, I'm not targeting you. I have bigger fish to fry. I just didn't want you to be HOH. So you, I didn't want you to come after me. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I could see Ming Lee's point, but I can also see that she's putting a target on Angie's back. Well, we also know the real reason, supposedly, why she was doing that, but she didn't want to admit that to Angie. Mm -hmm. You know, her strategy of not putting balls in other people's tubes. Right. All right, so... Anyway. <laughs> Brooke, uh, in real life and in the game, finds it hard to trust people, but she does trust Shelly. These two are, like, always together. Showmans? I think that they're interested in each other, maybe, but they're both, like, not gonna happen, not in this game. It's still also very early, so They, you... they did promise Canada... That they weren't going to have a showman. And I would love for them to not have a showman. <laughs> I just want to see them work together on a game level. How about a no man's? Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right. um, I just want I feel like they're both really good gamers, and I don't want that to be destroyed by them having a showman. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time to check out Sheldon's HOH room. Ooh! You he got a kitty cat plushie. Yeah, was that recycled from last season? Maybe. I, I think it might have been. Uh, he got a letter from his brother that was nice, really nice. Very sweet. Uh, everyone was crying. There was not a dry eye in the house. Mm -hmm. But nobody was crying as much as freaking Kyle, who had to run off and sit in the dirty swamp and cry. Yeah. And then I think um, Hira came in and was saying, hey, man, uh, you better freaking toughen up. Kyle's like, <laughs> I'm going to have not again. And when we started that comp, I knew there was no way that I was going to be able to win. It was out of my hands. Yeah. I had whatever. two bad things to people. <laughs> last week feel sorry for me you didn't have to play it the way that you did last week but no. okay he Boo was freaking who? definitely crossing the line last week in terms of you know like rubbing it in people's faces and stuff you didn't have well to do i mean that. he didn't have to swear on his kids and i'm not yeah. saying that it's not legit gameplay because like if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do mm -hmm. but don't cry about it after and be like yeah. oh everybody's making me out to be a villain you're, you're a doing villain. that yourself you didn't yeah. have to do that all right, so here's here's the real tea. There's a new alliance in town. I mean, it, they've been around. It's Brooke, <laughs> Kyle, Vanessa, Sheldon. Well, they're, they're at the forefront now because Sheldon's in power. Yeah, KV, BS. Yeah, they're scared of Rianne and they're scared of Maddie. What? <laughs> okay. I don't know why. Okay. But uh, they're planning on possibly backdooring Ming Lee. I mean, they weren't going, or at least Sheldon was not going into this week thinking, I'm definitely going to be backdooring Min Lee. She is a potential replacement He's nominee. Saying possibly JL, too. Yeah, but Sheldon has grown to really like John Luke over mm -hmm. the last few days, so I don't see that happening. But Min Lee is an option, but again, she's not like a true backdoor target that he's okay. been planning right. since the beginning of the week. She could be an ass in the seat. Right. All right. But. His target at this point is Rianne. Okay. He thinks that she's the more threatening of the two. I would agree. Mm -hmm. All right. So Jamar <laughs> and Rianne uh, have a conversation. And does Jamar think he's in a um, alliance with Rianne? Or? Well, he's close to the three, formerly four. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted to make sure he was going to be good if any of them won HOH. Mm -hmm. And I mean in the future if they do. Right. But I don't think he has anything set with them at this point. Okay. Well, she feels uh, like people are coming after her because she was in that alliance. And they are. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, good read. <laughs> yep. So Sheldon and JL are having a nice chat. and he... John Luke was putting in the work before 
Yeah. Sheldon even won HOH, so that's a good sign for mm -hmm. him. You know, Sheldon knows, okay, he does want to work with me. It's not just because I'm in power this week. Because he's his ass is on the line. Yeah. So, John Luke was already trying to work that last week before mm -hmm. Michael left. And now it's paying off because these two are getting pretty tight. Right. All right, well, Jamar does think he's in an uh, alliance with Brooke, right? Right, so Jamar is in this alliance with Brooke, Sheldon, Hira, and Suzanne. So Hira and Sh and uh, bleh, Jamar think that this thing is real, but everybody else knows it's not. <laughs> so they're strategizing, well, he's strategizing with Brooke, and he wants her... To go to Sheldon, because he knows they're close. And tell him to get rid of Kyle. And th that is not sitting well with Brooke, because Brooke is in the real KGBS. alliance. Right. With Kyle. So she's trying to get him off of Kyle's trail, and she's saying, like, oh, we gotta keep Kyle around, because he's gonna be a shield for us. He's gonna be a meat shield. If we get rid of him, people might start coming after us, which is true. It is true. They are keeping him around to be a shield, so she is honestly telling him the truth there. Well, she does go to Sheldon, but she tells him about the conversation that she had with Jamar. Like, this seems to be sticking with him, so keep using this line of logic that right. Kyle's gonna be a shield. Yeah. All right, so the deport the, the, the deportures, deportures the deporture boards light, light <laughs> up in the Expedia Lounge. Yeah, they get all this information: arrivals, departures. Remember last season when the paintings um, like lit up in the um, in the lounge? I don't remember that. Oh, I, I vaguely remember yeah, that. No, yeah. They're like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> yeah, I vaguely remember that. Yeah. So everybody starts studying all this information because they think that it could be for the HOH competition. They actually revealed this to them before, before. the this eviction. This is like a flashback. Almost. Yeah. So they're all studying that and then they see this other door light up. Oh, what? <gasps> it's the Maui room. So it's basically like the... The secret bomb shelter room from last mm -hmm. last time, like the where they had all the next files. Next to the record, no, next to the records. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the Expedia Lounge is the record room with all the boxes from last season, and the Maui room. Oh, right, is right, right. The yeah, paintings room. Yeah, got it. Yeah, I had those two flipped. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah, so they go in there. They're checking it out. Mm -hmm. It's got sand on the floor. Carol's freaking hoofing through the sand. Yeah going on here do you think there something could be something here? to that because why else would they show that her digging through the sand no nah. really think, no i think there could be some sort of clue or something under under the sand. i don't think so i think it's it's just um do you think it's for an upcoming twist no <laughs> okay the room yeah i mean maybe like a marsh of the moose type thing but i don't think it's got anything no to do with twist? the sand um no we'll <laughs> see why do you know something I don't? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> All right, let's let's devote a couple of minutes to Ming Lee and Jamar. No, what the actual f is going on with these two? They are sick. They are sick. And at first, I was like, "Oh, this is interesting. It's not your typical showman's." But now it just freaks me out, and I can't watch them. It's a freak man. I can't. I'm just waiting for her to say, "Kill them for me." <laughs> do it. I don't know what their deal is, if they're actually looking out for each other or what, because I've heard them both say, like, oh, I want to, like, do you and then evict you. <laughs> really? So, like, I don't know what's going on there, but I don't like it. <laughs> there's, there's just a bunch of freaks. <laughs> Let's move on. I don't even know if they're actually into each other. I think they want to do things, but... But I don't think they care about each other. Like, it's, I guess. like it's just sex. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Sheldon and Rianne. Uh, Rianne's trying to see if she can maybe stay off the block this week. I don't have any secrets. I'm not a threat. I'm not working with Maddie really a little bit. Really? <laughs> mm. Come on. Yeah. He, I mean. He knows what's up. I think the three have been doing a pretty convincing job of kind of, like, separating themselves yeah. this week. Like, well, obviously, they're still looking out for each other, but they've been doing a great job building new bonds with other people. Well, Sheldon actually picked Maddie for, um... Wendy's. Wendy's. I mean, let's be real. He's putting her up on the block, and he's trying to let her down easy here. It was nice that he picked her. She's a have-not again, so... Oh, that's true. 
So they didn't have any special server. They had like a regular Wendy's person. Uh, calling her not special. <laughs> she was so special. She handed him a an iPad with a video from his mom. Damn, is that the, the new uh, Happy Meal toy? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so his mom was really sweet. Um, yeah, it was a really sweet message. Yeah, I, I liked it. I didn't cry, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> now bite the damn burger. <laughs> what is it with Wendy's? Everybody wants that spicy chicken. I guess it's good. I don't know. I don't know. I we wouldn't don't know. Eat, so. <laughs> so Maddie says... If you get caught, if you get Kyle out, you could win the game. Again, Sheldon is working with Kyle, and people don't know that. I mean, there's some people that suspect it, but nobody knows it for yeah. sure. And Sheldon says, everyone wants you or Re or JL um, up on the block. Um... And Maddie's so like, it could why Why did they want me out? I don't know, Ma Maddie. Why did they want you out of the game? So then she's she crying. She really cry at the drop of a hat. I know. She's crying. And then after her meal is over, she goes she, to the have-not room. And she's like, why is everyone against me? Why didn't you gun for the veto, Maddie? Why didn't you do it? Oh, my God. Why didn't you do it, Ma Maddie? Oh. Maddie, you're up on the block. Yeah. <laughs> Even though Maddie's going up on the block this week, she's probably not going to be leaving. No. She's not seen as a threat at this point. No. All right. So Sheldon and Ming Lee are having a conversation, and he tells her, you better be worried. <laughs> because no one would care if you were backdoored. And she was Damn. just like, oh, sh that's harsh. He went harsh. there. He went there. I mean, he didn't pull any punches. Was he just screwing around at first and, like, there was a hint of truth to it? I think he's getting really fed up with her at this point because she spreads a lot of bull mm. and he's getting sick of it. And I think he just wants to kind of, like, torture her in the game. She seems very torturable. I don't like, know. I would get pissed off. <laughs> what does that mean? I would, get, I would want to antagonize her because I would get pissed off and I, I would know. just be like, no. That sounds sick. I know. So, um, it's time for the dark walk, the dark walk to the noms. Yeah. And I'm starting to sound like John Luke. Dude. <laughs> All right. So, I will actually would love to see the HOH go in there and start kicking those heads off of those pedestals like a little They're freaking so roundhouse weird. kick. Maddie's especially. Maddie and Min Lee's were really weird. Min Lee's was like... There was something twin. off with the eyes. No, no the eyes were weird. Like, we Maddie's eyes were like, <laughs> it was too much. All right, so Sheldon was really chatting up those heads. He was. Would you call them talking heads? <laughs> they didn't do any talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> then we always see that commercial when we're yeah. watching the show. Maddie, <laughs> Maddie's up on the block. And Rianne's, up Rianne's on, the on the block. And basically, his reasoning for both was, we don't have a good game relationship. They haven't really haven't talked, talked game. this game yet, so. I, I didn't understand why he was like, oh, our personal relationship is stronger than our game Because he's saying, you know, we're friends, but we haven't really talked much game yet. Well, he didn't yet. say that Maddie was his friend. He only said Oof. Rianne was his friend. I guess. Hurts. Truth hurts, Lizzo. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's where we're at right now. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, this week's about to get crazy. So make sure Ooh. you check out the the POV episode. Is it about to pop off? I think it is. Oh boy! If you're not already watching the spoilers, tomorrow's the power veto ceremony, Ooh. and you should be watching. <laughs> Would anyone care? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. And until then. Much, Much love. love.